Minecraft grief is on its last legs. It's a dying art. If today you're having grief problems on your server which require your attention as an administrator, that's because you're, do you're using the wrong tools. If you're still using World Guard, LWC, Laquette, Deadbolt, Residence, Precious Stones, Epic Zones, Townie, Logblock, Corporate Tech, Big Brother, Firestop, TNT Fix, Spam Guard, or any anti-grief plugin which is not called grief prevention, you're doing it the hard way. Now understand, I'm not saying that these plugins are completely outdated and useless. Many of them, especially World Guard and Residents, for example, have desirable features which are not related to anti-grief. For example, World Guard's option to stop monsters from spawning in an area, or Residents' enter and leave messages for flagged areas. But if these are your primary tools for anti-grief, it's time to update. For sake of anti-grief, you can replace all of these, yeah, I mean all of them, with a plugin called Grief Prevention. I'm about to show you the proof that grief prevention does a better job of preventing grief than all other anti-grief plugins combined, also prevents some griefs that none of them fix, and finally is the easiest to use for both administrators and for players. So please, before you start flaming my comments, I know you all love your plugins, at least watch the entire video and try this plugin for yourself. Once you understand how it works, I think you'll agree that it's the best anti-grief plugin you've ever seen. Let's start with how easy it is to use. I'm about to place my first chest on the server. When I do, I get an automatic land claim around the chest area and a message telling me how I can adjust that land claim later. Without any client mods installed, I can actually see the boundaries of my land claim. Since each player built a chest once he has stuff worth protecting, this means that even a player who has never encountered this plugin before has not only his chest protected, but also the surrounding blocks. Plugins like Laquette require the player to take extra steps before his chest is protected, and all container-only protection plugins fail to stop griefers from wrecking the rest of the build. They also require players to manage permissions for each container individually, which can be very frustrating in the simple and common case where two friends just want to share an entire build. Now let's say that I want to adjust the area. I get out the golden shovel, like the chest message told me to, and I get a link to a YouTube video that actually demonstrates for me how the thing works. That's a million times better than any in-game sign, wiki, forum thread, or chat explanation. You might say, oh, but I don't want my players to have to get a golden shovel. And I say, well, cool, go to the config file and change it to something else, like a wooden shovel. Now watch how easy it is to resize my claim. Let's make it bigger with no slash commands, just a couple of right clicks. Now smaller. Now an additional claim, again with two right clicks. Worried about griefers claiming too much land? Not a problem. Players have a claim allowance which grows with playtime on the server. Don't worry, players who idle don't get claim allowance so there's no cheating. And yes, you can even integrate with your server economy to have players buying and selling claim allowance. You can also hook with the VoterFire plugin to give claim allowance for votes, or even manually give claim allowance via a slash command for donations. Now, suppose some newbie manages to miss the chest message, or wants info before he even places the chest. What do they always do? They ask in chat. So let's do that. How do I claim land? Question mark. Boom! There it is, a link to the YouTube video. Instantaneous automatic help. It doesn't matter if I'm all alone on the server or all players ignore me, I have my perfect answer of video demonstration. Let's try asking another way. Yo dogs, somebody tell me how I can lock my chests. you dig. There it is, same answer, self-service. But what if a player accidentally builds outside his claim? Well, when he places a bunch of blocks which appear to be not trash blocks like dirt outside of his claim, he gets a warning message and his claim boundary lights up to help. If he manages to place a chest in an unclaimed area, he'll get a big red message explaining that the chest isn't protected. Considering all this help and all these safety nets, your players would have to be complete idiots not to claim their stuff properly. Of course, the video also tells players how to use the incredibly simple trust and untrust commands to give other players permission to join them in building. For advanced players who want to, for example, build towns, land claims can even be subdivided for more fine-grained permissions management, and there are even some additional levels of permission specifically for those situations.
So now that everything's claimed, let me prove to you that it's impossible to grief a claimed area. Here's a house. I'm a server operator in creative mode. Let's try to wreck this. Can't break blocks. Can't place blocks. Can't steal. Can't kill animals. Can't trample crops or lead animals to trample crops. Can't steal water. Can't use buttons and levers. As server admin, you even have the option to automatically lock all wooden doors and trap doors as well. Fluids won't flow in. Pistons won't push in. Pistons won't pull out. TNT won't destroy blocks. TNT cannons won't destroy blocks. Can't even grow trees. I also can't build over top because the claim goes all the way to the max build height. And I don't have to worry about mm. creepers destroying anything. Fire won't destroy anything. We can wait all day. Mm. But it won't destroy anything. Can't set fire inside the claim either. Of course, I could go on and on and on and on, but here's what you need to know. This plugin has been available for a year and has been refined during all that time you will not find exploits. Yes, of course, as an admin with the right permissions node, I can override to make changes to any claimed area. I can also resize or delete claims belonging to other players and even create claims for others. So that's how impossible it is to grief a claimed area. Now let's talk about griefing chat by spamming. Let me de-op myself here. And then I'm going to spam the chat. I want you to watch closely. You'll see that on my screen, all the chat messages appear to go out. I'll get a warning and then I'll get a ban. Yes, you can configure to just kick or mute spammers, but I'm telling you, there are no false alarms, so you have nothing to worry about banning spammers. You're probably thinking, hold on a minute, didn't you just succeed in spamming the chat at least a little bit? What if he has like 50 accounts and sends 10 messages with each? That's a lot of spam, right? Wrong. Let's have a look at the logs. As you can see, while the spammer thinks he succeeded, actually only his very first message went out to the public chat. The rest were sent only to him. To players, some guy said something odd, then left the server without explanation. The spammer doesn't know it, but he's just been mindfucked into not coming back on the server to try again, because he thinks he already won. Okay, so you might be thinking, uh, catching a simple repetition spam is easy, but it's actually much more sophisticated than that. It'll stop slash command spam, tell spam, emote spam, text start spam, def spam, similar message spam, gibberish spam, login logout spam, and much, much more. And it works so insanely well that you and your players won't even know there's been a spam attempt unless you go check the logs. Even login spam with multiple accounts won't work because when join leave messages start coming too fast, they're automatically muted until they slow down. Now on to spawn camping. How many YouTube vids have you seen where griefers camp the spawn killing players as they respawn? Well, no more. Grief prevention automatically without any special configuration protects all respawning players everywhere. When a player respawns, he can't participate in PvP until he picks up an item, so he's safe from spawn campers. If the griefer tosses some items on the spawn point for his victim to accidentally pick up, it's not a problem because respawning players can't pick up items for several seconds after respawning. This means respawning players have a giant head start, and the worst griefers can do is chase them and hope they'll pick something up, which means abandoning the spawn camping location. Further, the spawn camper himself isn't protected because there's no PvP free zone for him to hide in. Because he's equipped, he's vulnerable to any player who comes over to fight him. If he tries to cheat by logging out during combat, he'll die instantly. If he tries to teleport away with a command like slash home, it just won't work. So basically, it's impossible to spawn camp effectively no matter where or how the target player respawns. So what about wilderness grief? Fire doesn't spread or destroy blocks, so you don't have to worry about forest fires. Of course, TNT and creepers don't uh, destroy any blocks above sea level. 
so you don't have to worry about all those ugly craters uglying up your map. And of course, Endermen don't pick up blocks either. Above sea level, dumping water and lava only works inside land claims. So that, so that prevents griefers from using their favorite tools. Also on non-PVP servers, griefers can never dump lava or set fire very close to another player. If a griefer is smart enough to use a land claim to dump water like this, the water actually won't flow out. If he then d abandons his land claim to let the water flow, it'll be automatically cleaned up. Which prevents it from spilling out. What if a griefer decides to build something annoying outside of land claims, like a swastika or a penis or even the dreaded swasta penis? I'm about to show you a tool that will blow your mind. It's called Restore Nature. Now before I show you that it can restore any player built ugliness to a natural attractive state with only point and click, let me emphasize a couple of things. First, there is no world backup. Those take a massive amount of hard drive space, so Restore Nature works without a backup. Second, there is no database. Databases are difficult for amateur server administrators to work with, so Restore Nature works without a database. And finally, there is no chunk regeneration. Chunk regeneration makes a huge mess every time Mojang updates their world generation code, and it fails to fix ugly world generation errors like floating islands and gravel sticking out of the ground where there should be grass. So here's how Restore Nature works. All I have to do is get out my golden shovel, type Restore Nature, and then right click on what I don't like. That's right, no million slash commands with five parameters each, no investigations to see which players changed which blocks and when they changed them. None of that. You don't like it? Right click it. Simple. Of course, anything at all built from non-natural blocks is easy to fix, because it's obvious it was placed there by a player. But what if a griefer builds something with natural blocks? Single block towers. Spilled fluids water craters, surface ripples, potholes and trenches, walls, leaf constructions, log constructions, even stone constructions. Well, what about what's removed? Watch me use this fill, this fill tool. I point at the level I want to fill to, and at the block type I want to fill with. Giant craters in the ground, gone. Spilled water, filled with sand. Spilled water, filled with grass. I could even build up a little landscape if I want to get fancy with it. Well, what about the ugly world generation stuff? Here's a floating island. I just point at the bottom of it and click. And remember, all of this without a database, without a backup, and without regenerating any chunks. To top it all off, I can be absolutely 100% certain that in all cases, I will never ever accidentally wipe out somebody's hidden work, because unlike World Edit's region command and similar commands, Restore Nature will never change a claimed block. Worried about griefers putting land claims around their builds to protect them? You can delete every claim they own in an instant with a single short slash command, and now you know exactly who to ban because they sign their name on their work. If all this isn't enough for you, it's also compatible with Tekkit and many other mods, and it has a creative mode which, believe it or not, actually prevents even the griefs which are only possible in creative mode. This plugin is the ultimate anti-grief. It's worth any amount of effort to, to switch your server over to it. I've been running four servers, that's two survival, one ticket, and one creative for a year now, and I do it all by myself in my free time because this plugin makes shutting down griefers incredibly fast and easy. In fact, the only griefer problem I ever have anymore is network-based attacks because griefers get mad after failing to beat the plugin and resort to the only tool they have left, the short-lived network annoyance. Stop spending your time reading complaints, investigating who done it, typing my long slash commands to roll back changes, and banning people. Go get this plugin, solve all your grief problems with one download.